talking about were a little bit of BS. Speaking yeah. of BS, let's move into our let's final go. topic. <laughs> let's get into it. Earlier this week, one of our fellow Dash hosts over at ASU had a take, an opinion, a thought of sorts. He said, USC is no longer wide receiver you. <laughs> no longer is USC the king when it comes to the best wideouts in NCAA. ASU of all schools, not even Alabama. Not, I mean, not even when we're talking Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, Julio Jones. Not Alabama. Not, and not Ohio State. No, even in the Pac-12, not Oregon. None of these other schools. ASU is now wide receiver you. Talk to me, Nathan. How are you feeling? Okay, we can we can get into how preposterous this this take was. I think one of his reasonings was that USC wide receivers don't always go on to the NFL to become total studs. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair point. There's a few, you know, Nelson Aguilar's. There's a there's a few we as Eagles fans that I'm sorry mm -hmm. I might have taken a jab to the heart, but I think. I, I, I might have been been hearing this wrong, but I think immediately after he said that point, he said Nikhil Harry, as if that like disproves everything that he that that USC holds and that, you know, they have this NFL stud guy that he that he suddenly because of what he's doing in the NFL, what he's doing in the NFL, all of a sudden makes Arizona State wide receiver you when USC has had several guys that are way better than Harry. Again, I may totally be mis mis misrepresenting his point, and if so, I apologize, but I just don't know where exactly that fit in. I mean, even when we talk about a guy, right, and I didn't get to catch the whole thing either, but when I think back, because I'm really deep into the draft, so I know the prospects that are coming out, a couple of years back, Jalen Strong, and I thought Jalen Strong was going to be damn good. Jalen Strong, I think he might be out of the league right now, like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Like, like I, I get it. I, I know you got to have some sort of thing to hang your hat on if you're ASU because, you know, frankly, it hasn't been that good over the past couple of years. But this isn't don't 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 don't. If you go swing for the king, you better not miss because you, you just we just duck and weaved out of that. But I do want to um bring up this question because it got us thinking about wide receivers that came out of USC. And the question we're going to ask. Not who is the greatest wide receiver in USC history, because I think we both agree, Mark Keesley. It's hard to make an argument against that dude. He's most all-time in receiving yards. And, again, that's a dude that didn't have the greatest NFL career. But I do want to bring this up. If we're going to talk about NFL and that takes into account, let's not hear about Tim Tebow, right, not top five college quarterback of all time, even though the dude won two national championships, Heismans. We're not talking about Tim Tebow anymore because the NFL matters. Not talking about Johnny Manziel. Come on, man. We're talking about college football here. This is a college football-oriented show. We're talking about college football production, college football players, college football results. That's what we're talking about here. So when we're talking about college football wide receivers that went to USC, who do you, Nathan, is the second greatest wide receiver of all time at USC? All right. Full disclosure, I was, I was watching the clip from the Devil Dash show. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was, I was looking in, I was like, okay, we know, we know the big names. We know Marquise Lee. We know Juju. Who are the guys? USC is wide receiver you. Who are the guys that I'm not as familiar with that were studs back in the day? And I came across Dwayne Jarrett. This guy is a beast. 41 touchdowns, most in USC wide receiver history, 3,138 yards. And I was watching some, some of his tape because I'm I'm a big I'm a big eye test guy. I love stats, but I'm I'm a, I'm a big eye test guy first. Mm -hmm. And the way I see it, there are some receivers that are uh, uh, elusive. There are some receivers that are fast. Some guys make catches in traffic, and um, some guys are just physical. Some guys are just strong. They they get you know yards after 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 contact. They can get blown up in midair by three different guys, and they can still come down with the ball. Dwayne Jarrett was all of that. This guy made every single play. You put the ball anywhere near him, doesn't matter who else is near. He's making the play. So Dwayne Jarrett, I got a number two all time. Mm. And I mess with that too. But the only problem I have, I'm only 19 years old, man. That played in like he played from 05 to 06, I think. I was too young to even witness that. So I won't even try to, you know, address that. But I do want to address the guy that I was old enough to observe, and that's Juju Smith Schuster, bro. You brought his name up. I think he's the second greatest wide receiver of all time. We talk about a homegrown talent. The dude went to Long Beach Poly. He came to SC and he absolutely kill the game man second round pick dude went and we're going to talk about nfl production all of a sudden i mean we got to bring up the fact that the dude's probably one of the top 15 receivers in the game right now and when he was here oh my god 
dominating force. You talked about all of the, the, the intangibles that you want to see from a wide receiver, the physicality, the speed, the elusiveness, the route running. We want to see all of that. Juju had the whole package, man. Juju Smith. And on top of all that, sick name, Juju. You just know he's a baller. The name is Juju Smith. Schuster. You know the dude had to be a baller. From my perspective, I didn't get to watch a whole lot of Dwayne Jarrett. I got to see a hell of a lot of Juju Smith Schuster, and that dude was a stone cold baller, man. I got to give number two all time to my guy Juju, and I met him one time. That no bias, I, I did meet him one time. I got to like get talk to him a little bit. Might be a bit of a bias uh, impression there, but I got to give it to Juju, man. It 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 looks like we've been shouting from the rooftops about why does she reuse so loud that Will's Rice has come to join the chat, and he's got a oh, question okay. in this argument. Can you define your parameters for wide receiver U? Is it all college production or what they did in the NFL? Wide receiver U. We're talking about college production here. If you have a if you have a legendary classic NFL career, that's an added bonus. But as far as I'm concerned, it's about what you do in college. If it's about what you do in the NFL, Reggie Bush is a mediocre running back. I mean, what mm. are we what are we doing here? This is about which colleges have the best wide receivers, not not which which pro wide receivers come from these colleges and which which of the best nfl guys come from these certain schools it's about what did these guys do in college who is the best wide receiving school in college history that doesn't mean that the nfl doesn't matter that's just a bonus but if you are a stud in college and a bust in the nfl that does not at all throw you out of the wide receiver you conversation because you when you were at you university you were a stud wide receiver that's as far as i'm concerned I'm with you 100%, man. Wide receiver university. I mean, if we're talking about universities, we got to talk about the GPAs. We got to talk about what happened in college, right? That that comes first and foremost when we're having this discussion. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's not even a contest. I Well, I know you're strong for your school. You're probably a sun devil through and through, man. But no. no I'm just, like, I, I, it's not much more for me to say. Just, just no. I, you guys might even – barely crapped the top three in terms of wide receiver you in the pack 12 but just no man i apologize but i I don't even apologize that's just reality we have to we have to face the objective facts here but nathan do you have anything to add well wills is also saying in the chat 552 yards when he doesn't have a b lining up next to him reagan the floor is yours fire back well I will give you this, that he did not have the greatest season last year. And I hate the fact that I'm talking about NFL. Why are we still talking about NFL? But if we want to talk NFL, you just stepped into my domain because I'm not I, – I, I'm that that's my first and foremost sport. So let me tell you this. When it comes to route runners in the NFL, you have Odell Beckham. You have De- Demonte Adams. We talk about that echelon of people. Juju is just on the cusp of entering that group of people. He's that good of a route runner. Um, Juju Smith is one of the best hands in the NFL. The dude, I mean, he's such a hard worker. I mean, come, come on, man. Juju, I know he didn't have the greatest season last year, but let's not ignore the fact that the dude was one of the best. People were crowning him as one of the greatest wide receivers in the NFL, not to mention the fact who was throwing him the ball. Who was throwing him the ball last year? Mason Rudolph? Joshua Dobbs? Let's sprinkle a little bit of context into this before we just start throwing out empty numbers of 552 yards without AB. That I mean, there's other things that go into this. Who are the wide receivers around him? James Washington? Come on, man. He was the only person that people had to guard at the wide receiver, right, the wide receiver position for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You had a subpar quarterback throwing him the ball. At least give the dude a chance to play with a starting quarterback before we start passing judgment about he's not good without AB. Not to mention. The injuries concerns that he had, man. Come on, man. Like if, if you're if you're gonna mess with the bull, you're gonna get the horns here, bro. I'm, I'm I gotta do it to you. I gotta look. Do it. We got it. We gotta wrap this up real soon. But I want to get back to why does she were you? We didn't talk about Robert Woods. We didn't talk about Keyshawn Johnson. We didn't talk about Mike Williams. We didn't talk about Michael Pittman Jr. Although I guess for him, the 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 jury's still out because he hasn't played any NFL games. Oh yeah, Michael Pittman can't here, even end the conversation because we haven't seen him play yet. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many names that you could bring up and discuss. Deontay Burnett, uh, you mentioned Nelson Aguilar, just and not the best NFL career. He did win a Super Bowl, had some big plays that year. Um, but even in recent years, just so, so many talented wide receivers that came to this school. But you know what? You might have to come up here and see it for yourself. Maybe the next time we play, 
uh, ASU, you'll get the opportunity to observe up close and personal how good a guys like Amon Ra, like Brew McCoy, like Drake London, like uh, Tyler Barnes. You'll get to see all that. You know, when they're burning your corners, you'll get to see how good these wide receivers over here really are. But I think that'll do.